MassTutor.biz and MassDVDs.co.uk Foundation Mathematics Lesson 12, Part 2 In this lesson in algebra, we'll be revisiting something we've done before, expanding brackets. So let's just see if you remember how to expand brackets. Expand the following brackets. Everything inside the bracket is multiplied by what's outside the bracket. So in this case the C needs to be multiplied by the 5 and the plus 3 needs to be multiplied by the 5. So in this case I multiply the 3C by 4 and 4 3's are 12 so 4 3C's are 12C. Nearly made a mess of that. And 4 plus 4's are plus 16. Multiply both of these terms by the 6. Everything inside the bracket multiplied by what's outside. So we multiply 2a by 6, 6 2's are 12, so 6 2a's are 12a. 6 plus 3b's are plus 18b. Multiply both these by that 3p. 3p times 4 is 12p, and 3p times minus 2p is minus 6. p times p, p squared. So this is moving on because this is different to last time we looked at it, just a little bit. Expand and simplify. So we multiply both of these terms by that 4, and both of these terms by that plus 3. So we've got 4 times a, 4 times plus 6, 4, 6 is 24, plus 3 times 5, and plus 3 times plus a. So that's expanded the brackets, or removed the brackets. Now we need to simplify. We've got a 4a there and a 3a there, giving me a total of 7a. Now the number. 24 and 15 is 39. This is called collecting together like terms. These two terms are called like terms. These two are actually called constants. So you could say it's collecting like terms and constants. Multiply both of these by that 4. 4 b's are 4 b. 4 minus 2's are minus 8. Now multiply both of these by that plus 2. Plus 2 times 7 is plus 14. Plus 2 times plus b is plus 2b. Collecting together like terms and constants, you've got 4b there and 2b there, a total of 6b. Minus 8 plus 14 is the same as plus 14 minus 8, which will give you plus 6. Outside this bracket is 7. It's actually plus 7, but there's no need to think about that plus. 7 times c is 7c, and 7 times plus 2 is plus 14. Now, outside this bracket is not only a 3, but a minus. And we do have to think about that minus. Minus 3 times c is minus 3c. And minus 3 times plus 5, a minus times a plus is a minus. So minus 3 times plus 5 is minus 15. Collecting together the information. 7c minus 3c. 14... Minus 15 is minus 1. Plus 14 minus 15 is minus 1. Outside this bracket is a 5. It's actually a plus 5. So plus 5 times 2d is plus 10d. No need to write the plus sign at the beginning. Plus 5 times minus. A plus times a minus is a minus. 5 times 2e is 10e. Plus 2 times plus 6d is plus 12d. Plus 2 times plus e is plus 2e. So what have we got here? We've got d's and we've got e's. So collecting together like terms. 10d and 12d is 22d. Minus 8e 
I'm actually saying what the answer is. Minus 10d plus 2e is minus 8e. Sorry about that. I was right saying the answer instead of how I'm working it out. Have a think about that. Minus 10e plus 2e is minus 8e. Both of these have to be multiplied by that plus 8. 8 times 3a. 8 times plus 2b is plus 16b. Always think carefully when you see a minus. Outside this bracket, there is a minus 3. So both these terms have to be multiplied by that minus 3. Minus 3 times plus 4a is minus 12a. Minus 3 times plus 2b is minus 6b. Minus times a plus is a minus. Now I've got a and I've got b. So let's click, click together the like terms of a. 24a minus 12a is 12a. And 16b minus 6b is plus 10b. And the last one. 3d times 8d is 3x24 and d times d is d squared. 3d times minus 3e is minus 9de. Plus 2e times plus 6d is plus 12ed or de. You can write it around either way. Best to write it around the same way as that one. And then 2e times 2e, or more precisely, plus 2e times plus 2e is plus 4e squared. So, I haven't got any more d squareds, but I've got some de's. I've got minus... 9DE plus 2DE, which is minus 7DE. And then the term at the end. That's that. Algebra, lesson 12, part 2, the end.